WYCF, your local view on WVBK CA, serving Manchester, Londonderry, Vermont, and South Charlestown, New Hampshire, and WVBQ LP, serving Charlestown, New Hampshire, and Rockingham, Vermont. Tonight on YCN, a Claremont man is facing charges of stabbing another man in the Walmart shopping plaza. One Dartmouth fraternity could be fined up to $100,000 for serving alcohol to minors. And New Hampshire Representative Neil Kirk tells us what his role was on the Finance Committee. With more news, sports, and weather, stay tuned. It's time for YCN, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that is happening in our area. The YCN News Hour, your local view. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of YCN. I'm David Carmichael. A Claremont man who was convicted of first degree assault in 2007 is now facing felony charges in connection with a stabbing that occurred at a Walmart parking lot on Monday night. 27 year old Eric Sanborn was arraigned in circuit court in Claremont yesterday via video camera from his cell and is now being held at the Sullivan County House of Corrections without bail. According to authorities, Sanborn allegedly stabbed Peter Ilnicki in the chest after a brief altercation that occurred inside the store and resulted in trash talking and a fight in the parking lot. Ilnicki's injury is not life-threatening. Sanborn is also facing a second felony for being a felon and possessing a deadly weapon. A Grafton man pleaded guilty to murdering his roommates in 2011. In an agreement, 26-year-old Robert Lacombe pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and is now facing 55 years to life in prison, with 15 years deferred. The sentence hearing has not been scheduled. Lacombe has been held without bail since he was arrested and charged with shooting William Hatch and Hatch's girlfriend, Crystal Farnham, on June 24, 2011, after a disagreement. A Dartmouth fraternity is being indicted today on two charges of providing alcohol to minors last year. The fraternity Alpha Delta has had multiple encounters with local police in past years, but is being indicted for providing alcohol to an 18-year-old male on October 14th and a 20-year-old female on October 5th. The fine charges carry up to a possible $100,000. Incoming Dartmouth President Philip Hanlon was a brother of Alpha Delta during his time as an undergraduate at Dartmouth, but commented that the fraternity provided him with positive experiences and lifelong friendships. The indictment is the latest flare-up between the college over underage drinking. White River Junction residents gathered last night to explore the possibility that the town might eliminate the vacant police chief position. The 90-minute meeting with the former police chief and the select board revolved around creating a new public safety director, which would oversee the administrative functions of both the police and the fire departments. The town has already begun to search for the applicants. The newly proposed position is leaving some residents upset and confused by hasty decision-making. A public forum has been scheduled in Weathersfield, Vermont to discuss the best course of action for the historic but deteriorating schoolhouse built in 1879. A pricey renovation on the Perkinsville Schoolhouse was rejected by voters last November, but officials are advocating for action this year. The select board has proposed two articles for the public to take into consideration during March's town meeting. The most recent estimates to renovate the school into a community space is set for roughly $300,000. The select board will host a forum at 7 p.m. on Monday, January 14th at the Martin Memorial Hall. The Windsor School Board approved a budget on Monday that cuts nearly $1 million, which will be made possible by cutting faculty and staff positions. Administrators commented that the smaller budget means that an unknown amount of personal positions are likely to be cut. The school board unanimously passed the budget reductions that reduced the overall figure by roughly $961,000. The declining student population, especially at the high school level, and the skyrocketing prices of benefits were the main reasons for the budget reductions. After the break, Bill Boyle, manager of North Face in Hanover, talks to Upper Valley Chronicles and Holmes. The YCN News Hour continues in a moment. 